All right, welcome to SoFlow TV again, everybody. It's your host with the most. This video right here is to highlight the biggest stories of the past week on SoFlow TV. We usually do a rundown and condense the stories so people who are working two jobs or working a lot could get a chance to catch up because they can't sit down during a week to catch up with multiple videos. In this video, we have four big stories and we'll get into them now. So the starting one, but is not the biggest one, is the passing of a legend. And we're talking about Teddy Brockshot in Shatas. We're talking about Louis Rankin, AKA Ox in Belly. We're talking about a stellar actor slash musician slash artist slash businessman slash family man and the picture you're looking at here i made this icon myself this is my graphic design doing putting together in this picture you're looking at his wife his wife was also his personal uh assistant and those three children you're looking at is a set of twins and his oldest daughter so those are his three daughters and of course he passed away in a car accident and he left behind his wife and his children there's something going on right now where they were talking about a gofundme was set up to pay for his funeral and a lot of people are bashing the family and are saying that oh them want to hold on to the money where ox left behind or what low ranked left behind so they can use other people money for giving big fancy funeral art all this other stuff all in all, I didn't follow it that far, but I did give a tribute to him in this video. If you haven't seen the video, that's what that one was all about. And again, we say, rest in peace to the legendary Louis Rankin. You came, you saw, you lived, you did well, and you're on your way. Now, on to this video right here. For me, this is one of the most important ones, but it's not the biggest story that cracked. However, so a Chinese businessman, right? decided that he wanted to go help a family in need after the star ran a story of a mother that had seven children and was living in a house with all holes throughout the roof so when it rained everybody got wet mr chin decided say he was gonna go into the war-torn neighborhood find her give her the supplies and not only that give her a hundred head of chickens to start a chicken farm for herself Therefore, not only giving her a fish, but teaching her how to fish. I spoke about that, and I also spoke about how the Chinese people in Jamaica, the newcomers, need to give back. But not give back in the sense that walk around and give their hard-earned money to poor people. But I also spoke about how they need to intermingle more with the community so they become us, or a part of us. Then I spoke also about these single mother women who are going around spreading it out for everybody and having multiple children by multiple different men and then expecting people to help them and which is one of the biggest problems within our society. Yeah, I got a lot of flack for it from a lot of the females, but it's because most of those females are actually the ones living that type of life. They don't want to be told when they're wrong, but that's an interesting video to go watch. This was the biggest story now. I look at this pastor right here, right? This man. He's married. He has a beautiful wife and he has a daughter, right? So the story broke that a pastor in Florida, where I'm living at the moment, uh, decided that he wanted to take a little boy from his home to go school shopping because the mom was a single mother, was too busy and couldn't get it done herself. So... While doing so, this man decides to pounce upon this youth and start doing uh, gross things. In other words then, a big dirty bottom on this, right? Undercover brother this, right? I'm, I'm, I'm thinking how ashamed his wife must be. She must be coming like one ostrich and one one just hide her head in the sand, you know? And how embarrassing. Bigger than that, when we did the video, it was for an awareness because we put the picture out there because we wanted people in Jamaica to see if they remember this guy because he left Jamaica nine years ago. He is now the senior pastor at a prominent church in the United States of America. And I'm wondering, maybe he did this stuff in Jamaica as well, but just never got caught. You know what I'm saying? So we it was with that that we did this video. Now, to hear the details of that story, though, I want you to go and watch the video itself. The video itself 
got over 70,000 views in less than 24 hours. I don't know how much the views are right now, but I know that a lot of people tuned into it, which tells me that, yes, the awareness is out there. In the video, we also talk about protecting our children and who not to trust and all other kind of protocols that you would need to follow to keep your children safe. Definitely go watch that video. All right. And if you know this man, then leave a comment in the comment section. Last but not least, let's talk about Takashi. So there's this guy who, honestly, in my opinion, I think Takashi was a plant. I think he was a federal informant slash uh, police officer all along or worked for uh, them all along. And he was planted in the entertainment industry to weed out the gang members or the illegal people. The people, you know, wherever there are people with a lot of money, there are also people following behind them, hoping to extort them. Uh, to get some of their riches and he single-handedly brought down an entire organization the nine trade bloods this guy was facing a minimum of 47 years in prison a maximum of life for racketeering money laundering gang activities all kinds of stuff you know what he did he was arrested and charged and he said look i work with you guys and i'll tell and he flipped and told on everybody in his organization. Mind you, this guy before he got arrested was going around in red and throwing up hand sign, gang signs, gang, gang, gang. Gangster, how he's a blood. He was sanctioning hits on people. He even told this in court on the stand that he paid somebody to do a hit. And the guy shot and he missed. So he only paid him half the money because he didn't hit the target. Right? Which was another rapper. Now... This guy, after being told, will be rewarded shortly with, he could be out by the end of this year. And that's the update to that. His reward for telling. I just say he's in the right complexion for protection, man. Leave your comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about this one. It's SoFlow TV. I'm out. Peace.